She looks promising. Maybe. All you guys back east are complaining about all the water in your fields and we're dry as a bone here. We're hoping to get some rain. Uh, what's going on guys? I got the tractor in the shop. I get my tire up, but got my plywood. Just brought my drop light over. Probably won't get started on it tomorrow. Got a brand Kev's. Um, I don't have my skid steer here anyway, but I can go ahead and get the cab ready to pull. I got my conveyor running. It was running the, the merger was running the wrong direction from some oddball reason. I just uh, switched the hydraulic lines around and I think maybe they switched them. I don't know whether they changed the pump or what was going on. But yeah, I, been telling you I was gonna put videos up of the tractor and I quite honestly just have not got around to even messing with it yet. I got my books in, I read, read on the cab removal. Uh, pretty much go back and watch One Lonely Farmer's 4430 video another 20 times and I'm, I may get this thing figured out. <laughs> but I gotta pull the cab. Pull the rock shaft housing, uh, the, high, the hydraulic pump that's in the rear end is shot and then I've got a really bad vibration in second and fourth gears, it's a power quad. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do, uh, get it split. Got the pickup running, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I had to take my my skid steer to Caterpillar today. The the well, the forward reverse, you know, turn joystick is getting a little. I don't know whether it's just got one of the sensors is bad in it, but it's getting a little jumpy, and it's got a an alarm that keeps going off. But there's no there's all these plugins, but not where I need them. But anyways, uh, so I I put it on the big goose neck and took it to Dalhart. You know, it's about 45 miles. The pickup ran fantastic, ran really well. It shifted perfectly. Don't you know? It didn't adjust the shifting. Uh, I got a bunch of bunch of videos to put up. I I didn't get any videos of of actually doing the work and one reason why is because it's illegal to do it <laughs> and the other reason is it turned out to be a pain in the ass um, and uh, the def to pull the def out was super easy uh, it, that was actually really really easy to do that the and by that I mean the the DPF filter you know the exhaust filter. We did. We left the def tank in and everything. Um, but we that we dropped that in like uh, you know under an hour. That that was super simple to do that. But the EGR delete is where we ran into our problem. Uh, the tuning it was maybe 30 minutes, if that. That was super simple. Uh, but when we got into the EGR system, that's where we ran into problems. And I'll just, I've got a kind of a video of it. I may tag it here in the middle, but we had two bolts that they were on the exhaust side of the EGR. And we pulled it out and it had a block off plate with a sensor that goes in it. Well, the bolts seized into the exhaust manifold. They got about halfway out, came out pretty easily, and then just seized and sheared off. And so that was a, it just turned into, <laughs> instead of a three hour process like they advertise, because they go out and buy new pickups and do this too, so to mock them up, 
it turned into about a full day and a half, you know, full work day and a half. And yeah, it was it was a pain in the ass. We we had a drill bit. We had a a drill bit. The end broke off in one. Uh, we tried using an easy out, a good you know Mac easy out. It was it was pretty good. It was not a shitty one, but it uh it actually broke off in it. So yeah, it it, it turned out to be a just a real prick. But we got it taken care of. We ended up getting them hammered out and drilled out and then we uh, tapped them. So, it uh, just just part of it. Put it up to the trailer today. Ran to Dalhart. It uh, did well. Uh, one reason I took it to the pickup, I, I will give you a piece of advice. If you buy any new Ford pickup, any Dodge, you know, I don't know about Chevys, but I was talking to guys there at the Ford house, they see one of these new pickups every week. And what it is, is if you put a flatbed on them or something like that, the wiring cannot get dust in it, it can't get frayed, it can't, I mean, it's, the grounds have to be perfect, or it, it pops the body control module. And that is just a, so, I had a, a kid put the bed on. I wasn't here when I got the pickup and I had him put the bed and the, the grill guard on and I was gonna show up right as they finished and guy did a terrible job and it, you know, I went through two body control modules and I, I heat, when I, I redid the bed myself at one point and used heat shrink fittings and I mean, sealed them all up, taped them, put hosing over that and I've gone probably 85,000 miles since then and I think some of the heat shrink let go and it allowed it to pop again. So, but with us having just flashed the computer, what I'm gonna have to do is I gotta take it back to him and I have to flash it back to stock according to what they're saying and that because they're gonna have to flash the the BCM to talk to the computer and They don't think they can do it with it having a, a tune on there but I went ahead and spent the money and bought a really good tuner That I can flash it back to stock and then flash it to whatever I want after they do whatever they need to so at least I'm not in trouble there. I saw this the other day I thought it was really cool but uh, they want it rewired first so what we're gonna do is my my brother's not here this weekend or we would do it this weekend he we're gonna completely rewire it again just make sure every fitting every connector is as good as it'll ever be uh, run tubing on everything make better grounds and you know just seal it up as much as we can it's on a flatbed but, and go from there. He was, he's a certified aircraft mechanic, so he's a lot better at wiring things than I am. Uh, but anyways, that's, that's what I know. It, hopefully we get some rain. We're forecast for rain quite a bit this week. Um, I don't know if we'll get it. I really hope we do. We could definitely, definitely use it. But, yeah, so... I'm gonna get ready to start working on this. Uh, I'm gonna get it ready to pull the cab off and and hopefully I'll have my skid steer this coming week and I can just pull the pull the cab and and then keep going because I'm not using this tractor and I want it fixed because hell I may want to sell it. Or I, I'm gonna need it so at least I want it to run but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You know, subscribe. We're going to have some good videos on that. I definitely will get videos on that because that way I can see what the heck I did when I go to put it back together. I'm going to video it for myself and you, know, I got, you guys can watch it for your entertainment. But mainly that way I know what the hell I did. And maybe where I stuck all the random bolts. So thanks for watching.